Cheryl and her daughter have been enduring unsettling occurrences in their home, primarily involving inexplicable and eerie sounds. The presence of mannequins inside the house, due to Cheryl's sewing profession, adds an uncanny element to their surroundings. In the video, Cheryl's daughter reports witnessing movement within the closet, prompting her to investigate. What she captures in her exploration is deeply unsettling. Watch closely to witness this chilling moment unfold. Hey guys, um, just wanted to jump on really quick because I had to stop sewing. My daughter just said that something weird really happened and we've been experiencing a lot of strange things lately, just different noises and stuff. Um, don't mind my mannequins, I sew for a living, so. <laughs> Can you tell mommy what, what you just said? There's something under the door. Under the closet door? What? Oh. <laughs> Is that what scared you? It's okay. Everything's all right. What? I'm scared. Come on, let's go. Come on. Come on. As she cautiously inspects the closet, her search reveals nothing unusual inside. However, mere moments later, the mannequin within the closet inexplicably begins to rock and eventually topples over, causing both of them to flee the room in fear. Their distance from the mannequin rules out any possibility of them having caused its fall. Many viewers swiftly attributed the paranormal activity to the mannequins, despite their presence being justified by Cheryl's home-based sewing profession. In a follow-up video, she refutes these comments, asserting that the footage was recorded approximately two to three months before acquiring the mannequins. In this new video, her daughter, engrossed in play in her room, suddenly becomes fixated on something intriguing. A mysterious presence appears to attract the girl's attention, possibly due to a faint sound emanating from within the closet. She stands in front of it, peering inside for a brief moment before deciding to exit the room. Just as she leaves her mother's room, the closet door autonomously closes. Subsequently, Cheryl and her daughter have opted to sleep together in another room within the house. The question remains, is Cheryl's home haunted? or could there be an alternative explanation? The judgment is left to your discernment. Two friends, motivated by curiosity and unaware of the potential consequences, decided to experiment with a Ouija board. After approximately 20 minutes of their session, they managed to capture a noteworthy occurrence.
Blow out a candle if you're here. Right then. Lol. Maybe he's not here. <laughs> oh, we're assuming it's gender. Are you oh, male yeah. are or you, female? Yeah. Are you male or female? Are you both? Are you a male? What's the that? It's probably just a house creaking. No. <laughs> Fuck off. Oh my god. No. No, no, no. right. Close no. that fucking door. Close oh my that god. fucking what door. The Fuck. Oh my god. Close that fucking door. Nah. I'm gone, no. I'm a door unexpectedly swings open on its own, prompting one of them to rise and approach it. But as they do, another adjacent door also mysteriously opens, instilling fear in both of them. Their immediate reaction is to stop and illuminate the room with lights. Many viewers asserted that they may have made a grave mistake by failing to properly conclude their Ouija board session, potentially leaving a portal open. Whether this eerie encounter is authentic or a meticulously staged deception remains uncertain. As always, the final judgment is yours to make. In the subsequent video, lacking a clear original source, a woman is seen recording a makeup tutorial of herself when she unexpectedly captures a profoundly disturbing incident. Glow serum ini uh, gunanya tuh bisa untuk mencerahkan kulit wajah kita, ya biar biar jadi lebih apa ya lebih lebih glowing gitu. Kayaknya tadi udah lewat nggak sih? Kayak ada yang lewat tuh, tuh. Nggak kali ya. Oh, Aduh, oke, okay. kita ulang lagi ya teman-teman ya. Jadi, hmm, pertama-tama kan kita pakai yang gold serum ini. Gold serum ini tuh memang gunanya untuk mencerahkan. A shadowy figure swiftly streaks past her, prompting her to catch a glimpse from the corner of her eye. When she investigates the area, she finds nothing amiss and resumes her tutorial. However, the door abruptly slams shut with considerable force just behind her, prompting her to make a hasty escape. While many viewers perceived her terror as authentic, the ultimate judgment rests with you. Death Warora Mirez, employed as a paramedic in a hospital, inadvertently captured disquieting footage during a break from his shift. The recording captures his colleagues navigating the hospital's corridors before venturing outside to await the transfer of a critically ill patient to another department within the facility. The paramedic's recording is brief, concluding as the patient disappears from view. Regrettably, the paramedic learned of the patient's passing mere hours after recording this footage. Upon returning home after completing his shift, he reviewed the recording and discerned an unsettling presence lurking in the background. A close and careful observation is warranted. Yeah. 
While he waits outside, one may observe the eerie sight of a dark, shadowy figure gliding down the hallway, only to vanish in an instant. Speculation abounds among witnesses, with some suggesting it might be the embodiment of death, commonly known as the Grim Reaper, arriving at the hospital to claim the soul of the ailing patient. Others recount similar sightings in hospital settings, leaving us to ponder. Is it truly death, or could it be something altogether different? Your insights are welcome. A group of friends ventured into the depths of the polished woods to explore an abandoned house and barn. While their exploration of the dilapidated house yielded little of interest, it was their journey to the barn that yielded a most intriguing discovery. No, dáš kurva. Vampír jak by. To je bísta, věřa, ne? Co to je? Ty, červon. Ošvěď. Following their visit to the barn, they curiously interacted with various objects before deciding to retreat and set up their campsite. As night descended, they returned to the barn, completely unaware of the unsettling turn of events that awaited them. Watch closely as their night takes an unexpectedly chilling and ominous turn for the worse. Zaraz znajdziemy, będzie git. Ja dalej nie mam zasięgu, tak samo. Lipa jest. Nie będzie, no ile myśli przecież, kurwa. Nie ma szans na zasięg. Dobra, trawa nie jest jakaś gęsta, to... Nie, nie, nie. Trzeba bardziej zbliska, bo to jest takie... Czarny kuperą, to naprawdę było widać. Wiesz, że chciałem się schować. Szukałem telefonu na jebany, kurwa. Z latarką w trawie wracałem. Tak nie przejdzie, bo panie komendiancie. Może dlatego. Zgaduję, że może kurwa znowu było tak, że tutaj go miałem, jak gdzieś szliśmy, to zamiast włożyć go do kieszeni, to kurwa włożyłem obok kieszeni i tyle, nie? Już wypadł. Weź mi masz lepszą latarkę. Nie ma tu nic. To co, w tej stodole trzeba sprawdzić. Płaszcz, to, to wisi? Nie też wisiał chyba. No to mi się wydaje. Był płaszcz tutaj jakiś przecież. Kurwa nie ma. Kurwa nie ma. Nie ma nic kurwa. Nie ma nic. Kurwa. Kurwa.
suddenly encounter a pale figure with long hanging hair, suspended upside down, a sight that instantly propels them into a frenzied escape. As they begin to flee, eerie, humanoid sounds permeate the air. Seeking refuge in darkness, they switch off their lights, only to have an enigmatic presence rush past them. Armed and prepared, they are eventually exposed and forced into another desperate retreat. Just as the video concludes, a glimpse of a humanoid figure pursuing them, emitting otherworldly, demonic sounds amidst the obscurity of the woods, leaves a lasting impression. Fortunately, they manage to escape, and it seems highly unlikely that they'll venture back to that place anytime soon. The identity of the hanging figure and its connection to the pursuing creature remains a mystery. Mr. Bailey is employed at an aged theater venue, widely known for being the subject of alleged paranormal occurrences, both among the staff and the visiting patrons. During his initial training, Bailey was duly informed that peculiar voices, unusual sounds, and eerie apparitions have been reported within the theater's premises. Despite his strong affinity for the world of theater and his pressing employment needs, Bailey initially dismissed these accounts choosing to embrace the role of overseeing nightly operations and ensuring the venue's security. However, one fateful night, upon hearing an unusual sound, Bailey made the decision to document and investigate the matter further. All right, guys, so I work at this uh, old theater and I've been hearing a noise. It's a really beautiful theater, as you can see, if you can see it at all. But I keep hearing a noise in here and there's not supposed to be anybody here, so... Just double checking, but I wanted to film it just in case. There's the ghost light. It's a light we keep on for ghosts, <laughs> for people who still remain here and whatnot. And, um, what the fuck? An enigmatic grayish figure becomes apparent through one of the theater's windows. The following night, a viewer recommends that one should take a seat inside the theater and observe events. Here is what transpired.
Several nights later, the alarm siren blares, prompting Bailey to suspect a possible intruder inside the theater. In response, he conducts a thorough search of the premises to ensure its security, yet finds nothing amiss. However, his curiosity leads him to investigate the distant sound of a piano. What he encounters in that moment is undeniably unsettling. Hey guys, so I'm here late at night checking in on the place because the sirens went off. That means that somebody was trying to get in. Got here, there wasn't anybody here, but I just heard the piano in the small space, so I think there might be somebody there. Someone in here? Hello? Fuck, 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 fuck. Shit. Hey. You're not supposed to be in here. Who is it? The following evening, he opts to linger within the dimly lit confines of the theater and the situation takes a turn for the worse. This is backstage, can't see it very well, but um... What? <gasps> Look, guys, holy shit. I'm turning the lights on, I'm turning the lights on. Unbeknownst to him, he inadvertently captures the eerie apparition of a shadowy figure peering out from the far end of the theater. Moments later, the ghostly light fixture begins to tremble and drift of its own accord within the obscurity. However, the strangeness continues as he later discerns haunting melodies emanating from the center stage, managing to capture this haunting occurrence as well. I keep hearing singing in the main stage but when I walk in it stops <sighs> alright I'm gonna try and turn in the lights off and seeing if I can hear the music again but it sounds like singing <sighs> the things I do for y'all After a period of limited success in capturing anything, the basement alarm is triggered, compelling Bailey to investigate the situation. Hey y'all, it's Bailey, it's midnight, and as always, when the security alarm gets tripped, I come in and I film it in case we see anything cool, or at least catch the person who sets it off. Uh, it's been a long time since we've seen anything cool or paranormal, but we'll see. Always filming. Uh, this was the basement alarm. See what we, what, we, what, we, what we get. I'm very sleepy. Alright, so this is the basement. This is the green room. Anyone in here? I guess I can turn on the light. Hello? Alright. Wig room. Anyone in here? The bathroom. The shower turns on and sends chills up my spine. Whoa. Someone's in here. Yo, it's midnight. You...
phone starts to glitch. Someone behind that. Somebody down here. Let's go the other way. Yo, these lights were off. Hello? Someone in here, seriously. The shower head activates spontaneously as he moves to shut it off, his phone simultaneously experiencing technical issues. Yet perplexingly, there is no visible presence in the vicinity. The ensuing night unfolds as the most unsettling experience of his life. What's up y'all, as always, if the sensor gets tripped I film it, just in case we see anything. So here we go, it's uh, 9 p.m. On a Saturday, this is my life. So I'm walking through the main stage. <clears throat> Here, I'll flip it. Okay. Ghost light is on. No one in here. Hello? Okay. A figure resembling a young girl in a dress appears behind him at the rear of the stage, though its authenticity as a prop remains uncertain. Simultaneously, a sound emanates from the balcony, leading him to spot two distinct figures at the top. One, a shadowy presence, and the other, a woman dunning a dress. This harrowing encounter left Bailey profoundly shaken causing the video to conclude abruptly as he hastily vacated the premises. In the aftermath of this unsettling incident, Bailey contemplated quitting his job, but ultimately chose to persevere. The question persists, was this a genuine ghost captured on camera, perhaps former performers from the past, or merely another elaborate hoax? The answer lies in your judgment. <laughs> Quem é seu povo? Ué, que tempo passa aqui, hein? Será que é a gente? This photo was taken somewhere in Australia and also been published on many news channels and news articles. Woman claimed that it might be a dead body, but viewers suggested that it must be a ghost. But what do you think about this image, ghost, or something else? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> 